practical cookies. So I was gonna make my traditional Easter cookies with just my chips and I thought, you know what? I'm kind of feeling like we keep getting a little bit of sun. I wanna do something more tropical. So I'm gonna be adding pineapple, toasted coconut, which I still have to toast the coconut. And I'm gonna be um, adding two different kinds of chips. Um, I created this recipe all on my own. I, in the description, you're gonna see where I listed all the baking ingredients and what they do for your cookies. And so I, I did some searching and some studying and I come up with this recipe. I'm super, super excited about it. Um, so yeah, so I gotta get that, that um, the coconut toasted. So I'm just gonna turn you guys over here. So I have, where is it? So I have one cup of coconut that we're gonna add to the recipe. So I'm gonna get this going here. This morning, everybody was here for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. I'm just gonna toast the coconut here. I should have done this before I got on live, but okay, so I'm gonna toast this. There we go. And so while we're putting all the ingredients together, this will be going. So let me get that in there. All right. And that's one cup. Okay. Hello, Sandy, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna start um, getting these cookies going. Uh, it has literally snowed here for three days, but the sun's out behind me, but I don't think it's gonna stay. I think we're supposed to get more snow. Good morning, good morning. Hello, my sweet Leanne. I feel like I got like stuff all over here. Okay, so we're gonna get these cookies going. So we're gonna start with, um, and so I have to show you guys. So I know I've showed you guys before. This is like my handy dandy yellow notebook. So here is where I looked up each of the ingredients and what they did. And then here is my recipe that I come up with from scratch all by myself, super excited. Okay, so we're gonna start by creaming one and one third cup of shortening. And so yeah, all of these ingredients, you guys can look on the description and it's gonna tell you what they do for your cookies. I'm super excited about it. And then it is two thirds cup of butter. And I did let my butter soften so it's not super hard. So you might wanna let it sit out for a little bit. And I also like to make sure that my eggs are room temperature. So I had my eggs also setting out. This is my spoon I'm gonna use for the cookies. And I like to have a clean station. Okay, so we're gonna cream these. Oh, there we go. I wanna share it with everybody. So, okay, we're gonna cream the butter and the shortening. There we go, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Probably for a couple of minutes, you want it to be like nice and fluffy, mixed well. I always use a bigger bowl just because I make lots of cookies. And so to that, we're going to be adding um, one cup of white sugar. And then one and a half cups of packed brown sugar. I really love brown sugar and cookies. So yummy. Okay, we're gonna mix it again. Don't let me forget that toasted coconut in the oven. All right, I got a couple little hard sections here. We're gonna get these mixed in. So when you cook and bake, it's really important to make sure you're ready to go. I like to measure everything out. I like to look over my recipe just to make sure I have everything in order. It just makes it so much easier when you're baking. All right. We're gonna put this in here. My arms hurt so bad because I made homemade chalupas last night and I literally rolled out these five inch circle 24 chalupas. I have mad respect for women who do everything from scratch all the time. Right. Okay. Somebody must be thinking of me because my nose is itching. Okay, let me get a little bit more here. chunks in here. I just don't want to settle down. Here's one. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. 
So now we're gonna add three large eggs plus one egg yolk. That extra egg yolk makes your cookies chewier. And then it is two teaspoons of banana extract. I use Baco, oh, really, really good extracts because I make macarons and I like to do different flavors. They're found on Amazon. You can get bigger bottles or smaller, but these Bacos, B-A-T-K-O, amazing. So two teaspoons and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. We're gonna mix again. really fast all right and so we're gonna put this aside because now we're gonna do the dry ingredients there we go. Whisk. okay so I have five cups of all-purpose flour now I'm adding pineapple to mine if you don't want to add the pineapple then you're gonna reduce your flour to four and a half cups. I added extra because of the liquid. I've been draining the pineapple probably for like 40 minutes because I want as much moisture out of the pineapple that's crushed as I can. And then it is um, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. There we go. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. So after I get this together, we'll do some chatting. And then it is one quarter cup of white chocolate instant pudding mix. I was thinking about doing banana because I thought that'd be really good. But with the banana extract, I didn't want it to be too much. And I didn't want to add bananas to my cookies because I felt like it'd be too much moisture. But I don't know, maybe next time. All right. There we go. And then I'm just going to whisk it together. I didn't used to do that when I started cooking. I would just like put it all together and go. And I'm realizing that these little extra steps is what makes your cookies and your baked goods even better. I know I have something right here. I can see it. A speck of flour or something. All right. Whisk yeah. that together. And if you have everything ready to go, um, it doesn't take long to like get your cookies going either. It might take a lot more prep time, but it's worth it. All right, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. So now we're gonna add half of the baked of the dry to the wet. And I am going to be coming on, I think, Friday because I'm going to make a from scratch carrot cake for this weekend. I was going to do homemade Doritos, but my, my um, Haley and Madison are like, make a carrot cake. I'm like, okay. So I thought, well, that'd be cool to make a carrot cake on live. And if you want to do all banana extract and not do any vanilla, you can do that. All right. There we go. All right, let's mix that. I'm super excited about this recipe. I hope it tastes as yummy as uh, it looks on paper. It really is all about um, balancing the liquid with the dry mix to make sure your cookies aren't too dry and crumbly or they're so wet that they like spread like to eternity. It's great though. Okay. Now That looks great. Now I'm going to bring over all of the stuff that we need to put in it. I'm going to shut that off. i got to share this recipe with everybody. Look at these beautiful sprinkles. 
and then here's my pineapple. So I wanted to use the juices, so I've just been straining it because I want it to be really, I don't want any extra liquid because I only added a half a cup of um, flour to compensate for this extra liquid. So like I said, if you don't do the pineapple, just do four and a half cups and I can put that in the, I feel like I have something on me. Okay, so we're actually gonna fold this in. So it's one and a half cups of cheesecake chips. So these cheesecake chips are by Hershey. They're absolutely amazing. And then, what was I gonna tell you guys? And then these sprinkles, they come, like you know how you can get those sprinkles and there's a color and it's like a color wheel. And so they actually make like spring sprinkles. And so I just dumped this whole thing in here, mix it up, how pretty is that? Okay, let me grab a big spoon, hold on a second. I got these spoons from my mother-in-law. Look at how cool these are. So these are bamboo, and what's really cool about them is I got them for Christmas. I got a spatula and like two other spoons. What's really cool about these is that um, if it, like you know how sometimes when you soak wood and you make spaghetti or something and it, it dyes it red, these have not worn, like I've been using them since Christmas, and I use them a lot and I've soaked them in water and it hasn't like cracked or got into the wood. So they're super cool and they have different colors too. Like you can get like blue, beige and white or you can get like spring colors like oranges, reds, yellows or you can get like wintry colors that are different shades of blue but look at, aren't those cute? Yeah, okay. All right, let's get going here. So we're gonna just fold them in. So this is the um, one cup of white chocolate chips. And then the one and a half cups of cheesecake chips. These chips are so amazing. And then this is one cup of the spring sprinkles. And I'm gonna put some on a tray and then get them in the oven. So while we're tray putting some on the other trays, you guys will be able to see the final. All right. Okay. And then we're gonna fold in one cup of pineapple. So. And I wanna save the juice, because pineapple's really good for you. This might be one cup, let me see. And then I gotta get my, co actually it looks like this is one cup, so we're gonna add it all. And I'm gonna grab my coconut out of there. All right, there we go. I almost forgot about my coconut. The aroma of the coconut was like whoosh, right in my eyeballs. Okay, so we add the coconut. I'm gonna let it cool off for a second before we add it. There we go. Cause it's still kind of hot. So I'm gonna actually put it in a. I'm gonna put it on this other pan. Okay. So I'm gonna let it cool off on this one that's not wet or not um hot. Holy cow! It burned my eyeballs. Let's, we're gonna fold this and then we'll put the coconut in in a second. Oh, it looks great. I love pineapple, it's actually my favorite fruit. Pineapple. Nice. Look how pretty. Look at that, it's so beautiful. So when I first started this, I thought, you know what would be really good is to add like butterscotch. And I was like, no, I wanna do something different. And I'm thinking, ooh, what about like a tropical cookie? And I'm like, yes. Okay. Okay. And then I thought, well, maybe I could add some nuts to it. But my family are not like, they don't like nuts and cookies. My um, chocolate chip recipe cookie that I got from my mom, she likes to add nuts to it, but my family is not like, they don't like that. So I kind of just put like extra different chips in there instead. Okay. So I'm glad that I added that extra flour because the, the dough is a little wet, but not too much. All right. Okay. There we go. Have a good day. See you later, alligator. After a while, crack After a while, crack All right, now we're gonna fold in these coconut here. Mm. Okay, I'm actually gonna use my hand. 
get the coconut in. These smell so good. Oh, man. I love it when a recipe works. <laughs> So yummy. Okay. All right, there we go. Whew. Okay. Okay, so you guys get to look at the sunshine for a second. I'm gonna get my hands cleaned up really fast. I guess I don't take that into accountability, hey, when I go live. Okay, two seconds. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Whew. Okay, so I want to get one batch going so we can visit because I want you guys to see how they turn out. So they are a little wet. So if you want to try adding a little more flour, you can, but I think they're going to be okay. okay. Oh. Yesterday I made homemade chalupas. They were amazing. I don't have a vlog of it, but I did do a vlog of my um, cinnamon rolls and I have two left. Before I leave, I'm gonna show you guys. They are beautiful and then my chalupas are beautiful. My son got my front um, shoe rack. So if you guys don't follow us on Facebook, I post a lot of pictures on Facebook. And so my son got my two racks done in the entryway. He got two done. I know there's a speck of something on here. And then he got two done in my other entryway. Um, Haley's friend, I hired her to help me out and she's been painting and doing tile and helping us with eggs because Josh has been working like almost every day. He gets the weekends off. And so it's so beautiful. Like she's, I know there is something here. Okay, so let's get these going in the oven. So I preheated the oven to 350. Um, and I'm gonna do it for like probably 12 minutes. So the trick to the cookies, and I know I've told you guys this before, but the trick to the cookies is don't overcook them. So when they start to brown, you wanna take them out. Even though the centers might look a little undone, they might be done underneath, but the tops will keep cooking. So don't overcook them. The cinnamon rolls were amazing, I'm telling you. They were like, like Robert, he's so funny. Oh, I lost him though. He's so funny, he says, mom. He came in yesterday, he's like, mom, so, I told everybody about your cinnamon rolls and that's all I could think about at work yesterday was your cinnamon rolls. So I couldn't wait to come home and to get your cinnamon rolls. And I'm like, okay, do you want more? He's like, no, I can't. I've eaten, eaten them for two days because I made them, I think it was two days ago, two, two nights ago. So they, it took me like all day to make because you have to let the dough sit for an hour and a half. You make the cinnamon rolls, let it sit another hour. And so basically I started at like 11, didn't finish it until like 3.34 o'clock and everybody walked in and they had to kind of set and I had to make the cream cheese. Um, topping and so literally they were done right before dinner so I made them at five o'clock and then I also made um what was on my list there I made the what does that say oh the peanut butter peanut butter chicken stir fry super yummy okay let's get these eggs plated here who's pussy I love pineapple so much I, I just I hope these work I've never made this before. You guys, you're watching in true time here. I, I have been all morning just searching, searching how things are cooked, searching you know, other recipes, just curious of what they do. And I thought, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. I got like a fuzzy going on here. All right, there we go. All right, I just want at least one to go because they take 12 minutes. We'll be on here for 12 minutes. I don't wanna make them too big because we have our King's Kids on Wednesday, so I make treats for our King's Kids every Wednesday, which is gonna be perfect for us, right? Because I get to bake with you guys and talk to you guys every Wednesday. I was gonna come on here yesterday, but we were so busy yesterday. And it has been snowing like just oh, enough already. And you guys are thinking, whatever, I see the sunshine. No, listen, this morning it was a whiteout. I didn't even get out there. I was gonna do that video like, oh, look. What a glorious morning. Makes me sick. But uh, the sun came out by the time I got out there, so. And people are not, I should do that though. Go out there with the sunshine. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be so funny? Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna show you guys my cinnamon rolls. So let's get these puppies in. I'm gonna bring... Woo! Woo-wee! 
That oven is killing my eyes. Um, okay, let me show you guys. I have three left. I made two and a half pans. Look at this. So I did make a vlog. You guys are gonna see it. You might not see it till next week because I'm a little behind posting. And then when I post the lives, it kind of pushes me back, but I love doing the lives. So yeah, beautiful, hey? Oh my goodness, beautiful. And then I'll have to show you guys my shoe racks that Noah made. Okay, so these will be gone by today. Everybody's like, why did you make them so big? I said, because you guys told me to make them big. I made it big for you guys. Okay. I just made, I had made bacon this morning and I think my heat's up a little too much. There we go, okay. Woo wee! My eyes are super sensitive. I know, they're so beautiful. And, and you know what too, I'm gonna show you guys my chalupas, okay? I'm gonna bring you over here. And I'm gonna show you guys my chalupas. I can't believe I did it. I was so proud of myself, but my forearms were dying. So I was supposed to make um, a Mexican cornbread casserole today, but I think I'm gonna make a chicken Parmesan casserole. So you, you bake your chicken, you put um, like your breadcrumbs on it, then you let it cool, slice it, and then you make like a casserole out of it. So I'm not sure because Haley's not a cornbread person. So two people have like cornbread. I go, yeah, but it's different. It's not like my sloppy joe. But then Dave was like, oh, cornbread, Mexican cornbread. So I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna show you guys my chalupas while we're here. I know the cinnamon rolls are amazing. You guys will see that recipe soon. So I have to show you these. I'm telling you, I'm so proud. My husband was impressed. My kids ate so many. Look at this. It's like a fry bread. I made my own chalupas. Just like, so we had actually put taco meat in there, but we had five left over. So I told Izzy, I said, take the taco meat out of there because it'll make them like, it'll make them yucky. So all we're gonna do, like we have four, I have four left. And so they're nice and crispy. Aren't those beautiful? It was so easy, you guys. Like flour, salt, butter, milk, baking powder. You put them in the oil, and they puff up right away. You're supposed to prick them. They're beautiful. Aren't these beautiful? You love my earrings? Thank you. I know, right? Look it. It's like a fry bread. And so um, if my kids want to have some after, after school today, all we got to do is stick them in the air fryer to make them crispy and puffed up. So this morning um, we had, I, I didn't make enough breakfast. I had to make breakfast twice because I didn't realize so many people were going to be here because it's so cold that the guys can't do like outside stuff. And when it gets this cold. And so I had to make breakfast twice because there wasn't enough. And so they, they use these chalupas and they put eggs, sausage and cheese in them and hot sauce. I know, right? I'm so proud, I'm really, I'm, I'm really embracing this from scratch cooking. And we're almost out of fruits and veggies. I think I'm gonna have to go uh, do a little grocery haul before me and Izzy and Noah um, go to spring break. I got to keep an eye on these cookies because the temperature was up too much. They look beautiful. They look absolutely beautiful. Okay, let me hit this. Okay. I got to share the love with other people who don't come live with us. Okay, I'm going to do this next one and get these ready to go. So I, um, I picked up some my almond flour so I can get back to my macarons. I would love to um, do a live on there. And so I, I'm really trying to just think of some really cool things to do to share with you guys. I want it to be something different. I don't want you guys to see like the same old, same old. So I've really been just kind of just praying and like doing some studying on things I can share and really embracing like the cooking. And I mean, I know cooking's not for everybody and different people like different things, but I don't know, I mean, we all love food, right? So, it just makes sense to me. All right. So I have a couple ideas I wanna share with you guys. Okay. And I'm super excited about the Cheer Choice Awards. That's gonna be so fun. We go to that, I go to that the week I get back from spring break that next week we're gone. Okay. I wish Haley was here so I could show you guys the swatches that we're picking out for the girls' um, dresses. And then on the 7th, we go for a, a cake testing, like to test different flavor cakes. 
And then um, the next day we're gonna be going to get the guys tuxes and I'm gonna be making a vlog of that. So you guys get to see um, David and his groomsmen pick out different tuxes or you know, pick out their color. And so that'll be fun. I think my husband's gonna go and some of the boys are gonna go. All right. this batch done here. All right, those look beautiful. All right, might be a little too close. Um, so yeah, we've been, Haley hasn't like 100% picked out what color she wants for the girls and I would love to share those guys, those with you, but I wish she had her book here. I'd share with you guys. We're gonna go with like a satin. She wants to do a boho theme. So she wants to do like a terracotta, like a spicy cinnamon color, an emerald green. A maybe gold, we're not sure, and then like a cabaret, like a dark wine color. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And we were gonna go with, um, a, um, we were gonna go with, what's the flowy, chiffon, because it's in, it's in the summer and it's so hot we're, when she's having her wedding and so we wanted the girls to be able to breathe. Well, I guess satin does breathe. We weren't sure if it did. And so there's two kinds of satin. One is real clingy and one is kind of flowy. So we're doing like the flowy satin. And um, the colors are absolutely beautiful. And so we're just kind of rounding up, like we're kind of um, finishing up the last of it. We're gonna go um, the weekend of April, I think it's the first weekend of April, we'll do the guys' tuxes and then pick out the cake. Um, and we're pretty much like ready to go. We just have to do some invitations. I mean, so it's going really, really well. She got her dress. Have you ever made chocolate gravy? I have not, but I am open to making chocolate gravy. <laughs> Um, these cookies are looking great. Let me check the oven because I really do not want these to overheat. I'm going to throw another one in. They're really close. But they're a little brown on top because the, I don't know the temperature is up to 400. Okay. They need about maybe five more minutes. There we go. Oh, they're so beautiful. If, if I had the swatches, I know she'd let me share them with you guys. So um, me and, and Izzy and Noah, we're gonna be heading to um, see Gideon and we're gonna be going to the beach, staying for the week for spring break. My husband was gonna come with, um, well, he's not sure yet. If he does, oh my goodness, what in the world? If he does, it's gonna be like last minute because it's been so nice except for the snow. It's been so nice and so they're probably gonna be going to work soon. And I think I've already told you that in the last one. Um, and so he's not sure, but uh, we're gonna be staying there for a week. I'm super excited to see him. I hope it's nice. It's kind of the rainy season in Florida, so I don't really know, but I, I, I can't wait because it's been in the 20s here. We literally had 50s and then 20s, please. It snowed three days in a row. Like, like right now it's nice, but then the whole sky is great. So I'm ready to get out of here. Um, let's see what else has been going on. We've been redoing the house. Um, my husband's been working on his fields. How's your farm? Our, oh, listen to this. <gasps> so we are going to have another baby in two weeks, two weeks. So here, so we, we, for those of you who don't know, we raise Clydesdale horses. We have seven horses, eight horses, almost eight. We have six Clydesdales and then Izzy's riding horse, Poppy. And so we have Wingman, who's the number, the grand champion stallion in the country for one and under, and he's the fourth All-American. And um, so he, so the, so Canada, Canadians are really big into draft horses, especially um, the Clydesdales. And so they seen Wingman. And so the people in charge of the Canadian something Clydesdale, they seen him and they love him. And so they've been highlighting him in magazines and on their website, super exciting. They just, they can, he's just beautiful. He's so beautiful. And so um, we have a little baby horse gonna be born on April 7th or 8th. So we'll get back. And then that next week we're gonna have a baby horse. And so Daisy Duke is Haley's horse. And so what we do with our tradition for our horses is whatever the first letter is. So, you know, I have what I ask you guys. I'll get a pen and paper up and think of a name for this new baby horse. Okay, 
couple more minutes. And so what we do is, because it's Daisy Duke, her mom was Darianne. So Darianne is two words, Daisy Duke. And so whatever, whenever they have a baby, we do the first letter. So she also had Dolly. So Dolly was born a couple years ago, and I don't know, I think I did a video of it. And so whatever the first letter is. So she's gonna be a D, so we have to think of another name. So if it's a girl or a boy, we have to think of a name. But my husband, so um, Wingman's a stallion, and we're breeding him to our mares. But but Daisy Duke is from another another stallion. And so my husband wants to do Top Gun, Maverick. His favorite show is Maverick. He loves Tom Cruise. I would love to be able to introduce my husband to Tom Cruise. He loves his movies. He watches all the Mission Impossibles. He loves that guy. He loves the shows. And so he wants to do um, Maverick names. So it doesn't matter if it's a girl or a boy. Maverick, Goose, um, uh, what's Goose's son's name? Uh, uh, Bob, what's the other ones in Maverick? So there's Goose. Goose's son was what? I can't think of the names. Darling Belle, that's so cute. Oh, that's super cute. Daphne, Daphne's cute. Rooster, yeah. So, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for loving our channel. Yeah, so Rooster, so he wants to do the names of Maverick. And so, he doesn't want, but you know what, if I, maybe I can find some names in the Maverick that start with the same letters. So yeah, so super funny. Hello, hello everybody. Um, so this, so we need to think of a name. I love Daphne. So we got Dolly, Darianne, da Daisy Duke was my idea. Well, Daisy Duke shorts, super cute idea. Um, so we have, so if it's a girl or a boy, we have to think of a boy name and a girl name. Oh my goodness. They might be a little, nope, nope. Okay. I can't tell you guys to not, to take them out when they're, just the edges and me not do it. <laughs> okay, so some names. I'm gonna get my pin out. Okay. Ooh, I love Dallas. Did somebody say Dallas? Okay, so we need um, boys. Dallas for a boy. Okay, let me get my thing out here. So, and I'll tell you guys, um, I'll tell you what, you know, you'll find out. I'll probably make a little vlog of it. I don't know. I would love to go live. Like if the baby's born, I would love to go live. But the problem is there's no service at the barn. Okay, so if it's a full, wait, it's a filly or a colt. Okay, so if it's a filly or a colt. That's right, colt, right? Okay, so I love Dallas. And what about for a girl? Danny Do, Dean, Dean, that's hilarious. I love Dean, okay. So there's a couple boy names, so girl names. Um, Bella's Pride, that's so pretty. But it has to start with a D. D. Da oh, I love Daphne. So it, let's see, we got Daisy, Dolly, um, D girl names. Um, we already used Dolly. What do you guys have? Darlene, Denver, Delilah. Delilah's cute, actually. Delilah. Denver is super cool. Oh my goodness, I love the guy names. Um, Darren, Darla, Darla. We already have a Daisy, Daisy Duke. Darla, that is hilarious because we love the little rascals. What was the other ones here? Dusty, Destiny, Duchess, Darius. We have a Darius already. Daisy, Darla, Dorothy. Dorothy's cute. Okay, so, Dor okay, so I'm gonna do one more guy name. Dakota, Dixie, we have a Dixie. So the reason I'm saying we already have these is because we have other horses. Like my father-in-law has like 10. Dakota, that's super cool. D Denny. I actually like Danny. Okay. All right. So these are the names I'm going to... Ooh, Doug. Where's Doug? I'm going to do Doug. Where's Doug? Dun Duncan. Duncan's cute. I know I said I wouldn't do any more of these. Duncan Hines. If it's a boy, we should call it Duncan Hines. Desperado, that's hilarious. Y'all are thinking of some boy names, but what about girl? Like if it's a filly. Douglas is cute. Douglas, oh my goodness. These are cute boy names, I'm loving it. But girl, girl, dimples, oh, that's so sweet, dander. I need, I need um, girls. So I have Daphne, Delilah, Darla. Darla is hilarious. 
Da I have a, we don't have a daffodil. That's cute. So with our dogs, they're all after flowers. So Daisy, Rose, um, Maggie is Magnolia. We color Maggie, Clover, and Violet. They're all, they're all flowers. Darlene, Darlene, Denise, Denali, Darlene. Oh my goodness, you guys are great. D Davis for Lieutenant Davis on Top Gun. And we could call him Lieutenant Davis. That's hilarious. You need a lily. Yeah, but, she, but it's not an L. Like, so we have a horse, Hannah, that we're trying to breed. We're trying to breed Whitley and Eva. So when the, if we do, I'll come to you guys. Please, can you do Danielle? Oh, super cute. Demi, Daffodil. I got Daffodil. Okay, I have enough here. So I have Daphne, Delilah, Darla, Dorothy, Daffodil, Darlene, Dallas, Dean, Denver, Danny, Doug, Duncan, Desperado, Douglas, and Lieutenant Davis. Hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see how these cookies are doing. Let's come over here and we're going to take a look. You guys are great on those names, but I will definitely be sharing that. I'll share pictures. I will definitely be sharing with you. Like I do a little video. If, I mean, I can try and go live when the baby's born, but because they have metal roofs, 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 there's no service. So whenever I try and go live, there's no service over there. And I don't know what the deal is because my boys live over there and they have Wi-Fi and then we have Wi-Fi. So I don't know. The nephew, if he's a girl named her Denise. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So here's the cookies. Let me check our other ones. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are amazing. Amazing. And I got to share with you guys some ideas I have for um, videos and then going live with you guys. So let's just see here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so, so amazing. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I almost bought myself a Dolly Parton cast iron pan. She come up with a whole, I love her so much. I love her so much. She was a huge part of my childhood. I know this might sound weird, but I have loved her since I was a little girl. My parents, of course, were into the old country, and so I listened to her as a kid. My very, I know you guys are gonna think this is funny, and I think I have told you guys this before. My very first button, I, I have Dolly shirts. I couldn't wait, I couldn't, I was so excited to go to Dollywood. My very first shirts that I got are shirts my very first Barbie was the Dolly Parton Barbie. She had big hair. She had, mm -mm. she had the most beautiful costumes. I loved her so much. She had her little, like little mole. Oh man, I loved her so much. And then that same year, my sister got a Cher Barbie. And then my other sister got a Mork and Mindy Barbie. Who knows? Do you guys remember Mork and Mindy with Robin Williams? And I don't remember the girl's name. Um, she got a Mork and Mindy Barbie, and she also got Mork suspenders and the hat and the scarf. And that, I think I was, gosh, I was little. I mean, I had gotten regular Barbies, but I mean like the, the really, one of my first nice Barbies that I can remember. I think I was probably four or five. I, I, whenever I started getting into Barbies, maybe five or six, because I played with dolls before that. And she was so beautiful. Dolly was so beautiful. I wish my mom had kept it. And the Cher Barbie was amazing. She had super long hair. She was absolutely amazing. These cookies, I can't wait to try one. I, I can't wait to try one. I am so excited about this. You guys, I, nobody helped me with this. My mom didn't help me with this. Nobody helped me with this. This was all me. Studying and investigating. This is what I do for dinners too, you guys. I just find inspiration. I look up different recipes just to kind of see like, what are people using for spices? And then I completely like do my own, you know? Um, because I mean, really, if you think about it, I mean, yeah, this is my own recipe, but I mean, there's inspiration right in everything we do, so. Okay, um, I'm gonna let those cool for a second. And so anyway, um, just to give you some tips. So on Friday, I'm, it's gonna be either Friday morning or Saturday, while those are cooking, we can chat. I'm gonna be making a from scratch uh, carrot cake. 
I'm gonna do a three layer carrot cake. Super excited about that. So I'll get everything all ready to go. And then look for some different vlogs. So a lot of people have been asking me about um, gluten-free, about how to do gluten-free things. And I have been searching out the gluten-free thing. And I know, um, so I have a friend that she uses a lot of spelt, um, some mola flour. And so she has some kids that are kind of gluten-free. And so she actually uses, for leavening, she uses vitamin C powder to leaven her breads and her cookies and things like that. And so anyway, I am putting together a gluten-free peanut butter cookie, a gluten-free um, lemon crinkle, you know, the lemon crinkles that, you know, you put the powdered sugar on and then they kind of open up. And then a um, peanut butter and jelly stuffed, gluten-free peanut butter and jelly cookie. It's kind of like a, a peanut butter cookie slash like a monster cookie, but a little different. And then I am putting together a, it's like a lava, it's like a chocolate lava cookie. Um, well, I've seen it, but I wanna kinda do my own thing. And so I have four different cookies that I'm gonna put together and I'm gonna make all those in one vlog, share the recipes for you guys. And then when I get back, I, I, I know, I'm telling you guys, the wheels have been turning, the wheels have been turning. I want to just put together things that you don't have to like look up the words and what they mean to put your, you know how you do some recipes like you go on Food Network and you don't even know what the half they're saying. You have no idea what the, the spices are, where to get the spices. So I wanna do things that everybody knows what they mean and they, we can access them at Meijer, Walmart, our local grocery store. Ah! Well, those cooked a little more than I wanted them, but Yummy. And so I wanna to put together just simple things. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting together, I don't know if I'm gonna go live with it or make a video, but I'm gonna put together like, um, like, like not salads with lettuce, but salads like, you know, ones that everybody knows. The one where you mix the cucumber with the red onions and the tomatoes and you mix red wine vinegar with lemon juice, a little bit of oil, some salt and pepper, some basil, some thyme, and you mix it all together and you put it in a bowl. And so let's say you want a fast snack, but you want to eat good. Oh, and it has mozzarella. Does that one have mozzarella in it? No, that one doesn't have mozzarella in it. But just like some salads, some different like vegetable type salads to where if you want to grab a snack at night, you can grab it and not feel guilty in the morning. And like the feta one where you do the balsamic vinegar with your basil leaves, your tomato and your mozzarella and some salt and pepper and you kind of mix that together and like a caprese, right? A caprese salad. So I wanna to put together these cold vegetable salads that, excuse me, that it may be, because this, I'm gonna tell you me. So this is how I am. Um, I'm not a salad girl. Now I'll eat salads, I'll make salads, but I'm just not like a lettuce salad girl. I would really, I'd rather have some cucumbers with vinegar and salt and pepper and jump, you know, munch them. I'd rather have tomatoes with a little bit of salt and some olive oil on it. You know, that's kind of like the things I like. And so I want to put together these salads that are cold that you can just eat and add that they're fresh and you can add them to your meals, you know, because whenever I see salad, I think diet, 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 and then I just crash and I don't make it and I cheat. Because whenever, I think it's because I grew up with the cabbage soup diet and salads. Whenever my mom was on a diet, it was lettuce and lettuce with a little bit of vinegar and oil. And she you could tell she hated it. <laughs> there wasn't nothing in it. It was just lettuce. And then the cabbage soup diet. Cabbage, tomatoes, broth. Uh, what else was in there? Um, some carrots and spicy. Do you, you guys remember that? Like, do you remember the cabbage soup diet? It was a big thing in like, let's see, before I got married, I got married in 90, 80, no, 96. And I remember trying to lose weight before our wedding and I was eating cabbage soup for a week. So that was like the late 80s to the early 90s was a big cabbage soup diet. And so I, um, thank you so much. She said she loves my post. Thank you so much. Um, if they're spamming, just remove them. If they say things that are inappropriate, just remove them. If they're repeating themselves, just remove them. I'm good on that. Um, so I want to just bring like fresh ideas, like summer salads that are cold because like potato salad, I like potato salad, but you can only eat so many potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're trying to watch your weight. And so I just want to bring in some fresh, like these kind of vegetable salads with the different kinds of dressings. And I have, oh my goodness, you guys, I have the most beautiful beautiful balsamic vinegars because I'm part of that Fusilini 
um, they're expensive and I savor them because I can't just go get a bottle, you know? And so I have these Fusellini flavored balsamic vinegars. I have maple and lavender and cranberry pomegranate flavored um, balsamic vinegars and I don't use them. And I'm thinking, why aren't you using this? I have wonderful, beautiful, beautiful flavored olive oils. And so I want to start using this stuff and just start like, and this is for me too. Like this is a challenge for me because I'm not like this. I'll admit it. I don't whip up a, a cucumber and tomato salad with balsamic vinegar or olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper and lemon juice. Squeeze the lemon juice. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I, that's just not me. It looks great, but I'm thinking, okay, Heather, you need to kind of like expand your horizons. You need to to try new things. And so I really am. I'm, I'm really embracing this from scratch stuff. I have a homemade Dorito recipe to share with you guys. Um, uh, last night when I made those chalupas, my husband goes, can't you make elephant ears? And I'm like, I don't know. And so I was kind of searching out elephant ears and basically my chalupa recipe, you alter it a little bit, you sprinkle cinnamon sugar on it while it's wet still and all the grease hasn't gone off of it and sprinkle a little stuff on it. And Brendan goes, can you make that peanut butter sauce that goes on them? And so now when I get back, we're gonna make elephant ears. And so it's just so simple. Like these chalupas were five ingredients. My homemade tortillas that I made a while ago on live with you guys, they were amazing. My kids could not get enough. They came in the next day looking for them for wraps and they stay nice and soft. Oh my goodness. I have a recipe for my homemade English muffins. I'm going to start sourdough. I don't know if Nikki's on here, but Nikki has been like, Heather, you got to do sourdough. And I'm like, no, don't send me sourdough. All my friends are like, Heather, sourdough. I'm like, no, I can't commit. I can't commit to sourdough. And so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump on the sourdough bandwagon and make bagels and pretzels and beautiful jalapeno cheddar bacon bread. I'm gonna do it. These are so amazing. They're exactly how I wanted them to turn out. They're so beautiful. I know I say that with everything, right? I must really like food or I like cooking. Okay, so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try one with you guys. And then I'm gonna get going so I can get this posted for people to see the recipe. And plus I, I promised my husband that I would fold our laundry. I have three, uh, three things of laundry. He goes, so is that, like, is that like our laundry on the ground? I'm like, yes it is. Yes it is, I've been busy. <laughs> oh goodness sakes. So I promised him laundry after my cookies. I'm all ready for King's Kids. I bought this gigantic bowling, like it's huge. The bowling ball is like this. And they're those plastic ones and the, the pins are this big. And so I think we're gonna do bowling tonight. So we're gonna have two teams and go bowling in the basement of the church. So I have that ready to go. I got my cookies ready to go now. I hope the kids love these. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. So it looks like the ones that kind of set down have spread a little bit. So if you want like halfway through your um, making these, you could um, put your dough in the fridge while you're waiting for some to cook. Because as your dough um, warms up, it is gonna kind of melt like the butters and stuff are kind of kind of melt. So let's just plate this last one. And then I'm gonna try a cookie with you guys. And uh, yeah, I got one more to go here. And I have been drinking my ginger lemon. I, I gave you guys that recipe. Make sure you guys like our video. Like, like, like. Um, I gave you guys the recipe for my tea and I'm telling you, I'm feeling great. I got a little sniffle this week and it literally went away. My sniffle went away, just to let you guys know. So. Let's get these plated. The toasted coconut's beautiful. Yeah, so the dough is not as stiff as it was, so I would suggest maybe, I mean, but I am talking to you guys. If I was just making cookies, I'd have probably been done by now. So if you're gonna just get the cookies done, don't worry about it. But if you're gonna kind of take your time and chat, then you might want to maybe refrigerate the dough halfway through. But it's up to you. I mean, the other ones are just as beautiful, I think. These chunks of pineapple, I can't take it, can't take it. I love pineapple flavor or scented flavored anything. I'm a pineapple girl. I like to grill pineapple. I like to add pineapple juice to, to my marinade. Fit in here. I got enough for one big one. I ain't gonna fit that on there. That's okay. All right, let's try one of these cookies. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you guys, make sure you check out our other platforms. And if you haven't subscribed to us, Come on, man, subscribe. I mean, I do appreciate you watching for sure, but subscribe too. Subscribe too, please. And I, you know what I've been doing? I'm so sick of the dishes and everybody hates dishes in our house. So I have been doing my dishes as I use them, just to let you know. 
and um, then my kids put them away. Okay, we're gonna try one of these. Even though I've lost 12 pounds and I haven't had treats in a week and a half, I have to try one with you. Okay, this is one of the first ones. All right, so I'm gonna show it to you. Look at how colorful. How cute is this, you guys? I can't take it. Oh my God, the back looks great. Okay, here we go. My very first invention of a cookie with no help. You know what it tastes like? You know those cookies that you get at GFS and you bake them up and you love them? Wow. I have a pineapple upside down mini cake recipe that I'm gonna be sharing. I actually made it last year. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. So look for my TikTok and look for the vlog. The master has done it again. Um, wow. They're really creamy, very vanilla-y. I would add more pineapple, but if you add more pineapple, you have to add more flour. Huh. Egg. Egg. I want to get a pineapple chunk. I can't believe I just invented a cookie. Amazing. You guys, holy crap. You know what's the best, one of the best things in here? The cheesecake, the cheesecake chips. Hmm. I'm just gonna eat in front of you guys, if you don't mind. These are amazing. You're gonna love them, your kids are gonna love them. They are so soft and so creamy. I cannot take it. I would probably add three teaspoons of banana instead of one teaspoon of vanilla because you have the vanilla in the chips. You have the vanilla in the, oh, you know, the white chocolate pudding. Ooh, that's what I taste too, the white chocolate instant pudding. So you could do the white chocolate or you could add the vanilla or you could do banana pudding. Try the banana pudding. If you make these and you do the instant banana pudding, please let me know in the comments or message me and say, Heather, I tried them with the banana pudding, amazing. So good, you guys, so good. Okay, well, I gotta let you go. So I can get my laundry folded because I promised my husband I would get that laundry folded and put away. We're down to like the skinny when it comes to undergarments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for being a part of this live. Um, look forward to Friday or Saturday morning, depending on how things go. We're all going out to eat on, oh, Saturday we're going out to eat. We're gonna go to Roadhouse. We just got a Roadhouse. We've been there twice. Yummy. Um, I always get the sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes so much. And they're so good for you. So anyway, thank you so much for being a part of these Easter tropical cookies. They're so yummy. I got, the, I got the recipe posted. Tips, you could add more coconut if you want. You can add a little bit more pineapple if you want and try banana pudding, instant banana pudding. So only you guys are getting these tips. Nobody else is gonna get these tips, just you guys. Um, and then, uh, you, or you could just do banana extract, but they're so amazing, so amazing. Okay, well thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine if you have sunshine. Sunshine on my shoulders make me happy. I'm gonna sing that song when I get to the beach. Sunshine almost always makes me smile. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do for you guys to end it. Thank you so much. Subscribe and like to Just Bulls 10. See you guys on Friday or Saturday. I'll give you a heads up on my community page. Okay, bye guys.